welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the channel so there has been a sudden death of a nyandarwa contractor guys i have been here a few months and i have had so many people complain about the government not being able to pay them in time or to even pay them at all so this is just an example of how that stress from non-payment of bills can actually drive someone to death so in a heartbreaking turn of events, Nyandarwa is mourning the passing of a beloved contractor, Hana Ndugire. Hana was, affectionately, Hana was affectionately known as Shosho Contractor. The news has left many in shock and in tears as she was a respected member of the community. Shosho had been battling depression for a while after the county government of Nyandarwa failed to pay her 139 million Kenya shillings for the work she had done in Old Kalau. In 2021, she was rescued by neighbors while trying to commit suicide. The Old Kalau beautification project was under the World Bank program and despite her hard work, she was only paid half the amount owed. This left her with, her with debt and bank auctioneers started taking away the properties she owned. Shosho was a very hardworking woman who always put her best foot forward. She took pride in her work and her efforts to beautify the town were evident for all to see. She had poured her heart and soul into the project and the pending bills weighed heavily on her. And you can see some of her projects. I think that's the Old Kalau project flashing on the screen right now. You can see how beautiful that path is, honestly. Despite her efforts to fight for what was rightfully hers, she did not succeed. Those who had the privilege of visiting her in the hospital say her story was just too sad to listen to. Her family, friends, and colleagues believe that her death is as a result of the cumulative stress, pressure, and pain she underwent trying to push and beg for the payments. Almost all her properties had been auctioned to settle the bank loans that she had acquired in order to carry out the tenders she had been awarded by the former county government, where they failed to pay her about $70 million after the work was completed. So when I tell you this government, I have had so many stories like this, people losing their businesses because the government has not paid them. And this particular project is very interesting because in my head, I'm going, the, the project was not even funded by the government, it's funded by the World Bank. So I'm 100% sure that the World Bank has paid this money off to the government. I'm 100% sure about that. So what is happening at the county level that they're not able to pay this woman her money? Honestly, just honestly speaking. So just unfortunate death, a death that could have just been avoided if somebody did their work, if somebody was just honest, if somebody just paid the contractors when they were supposed to be paid. I don't think this woman would have committed as if she was paid in time. So rest in peace, Shosho, my condolences to your family. This is just so unfortunate. This is so sad. I don't know what is happening with us Kenyans. I don't know where we left our humanity. I really don't know. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. Please help me achieve that goal. Thank you once again for coming back to my channel, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.